Hello, this is Danny Hell. Behind me is the sun. I'm sure you've seen that planet before. And that way is looking into Wales. And this is a video about spiritual practice. I can have a little look round. Isn't it amazing? So I am on Titterstone Clee Hill, uh, which is in Shropshire. See the big radars behind me? Uh, they pick up um, aircraft signal and I think they spread about 100 miles. We've got 100 mile radius. So spiritual practice. It doesn't really matter what it is that you do. You know it becomes a spiritual practice when you know you're not in your ego anymore and you feel alive, you feel in your heart, or you feel just connected, or there's something else other than mind going on. And so for someone who's done meditation over the years, retreats, Tai Chi, Qigong, yoga, goodness me, um, so many, many, many things. One of the most simple things is just getting out walking, and if I can get up high, it just gives that perspective. Wow, look at the light on that there. Um, it just gives this perspective on everything. It gives a perspective on your own life. I mean, my car's down there. I don't know if you can see it, the little blue thing in the car park. Can you see it down there? Um, so it gives perspective on that, and it gives perspective, perspective on the entire world. You know, I mean, there's a, there was a shooting in Las Vegas, which was horrific, which I did a little social commentary on, thinking that he was many a type five with a four wing. Um, regardless, it's, there's always things occurring. There's good things as well as bad things occurring all of the time. And um, we're a part of that. And the more that you can be in your heart and have a witness to what's going on rather than being um, affected and in your ego with all of the other ego stuff that goes on in the world, you're then not contributing to it. You're contributing to more of a higher state of consciousness, more of an enlightened mind. It doesn't mean that you're impartial. Uh, it could be, uh, but you can still participate in life and you can still uh, make a difference and uh, campaign or take action or do whatever it is that you wish to do, but you're not on this big agenda where you finally get the results that you wish to see in the world. For example, you correct the injustices in the world or uh, you get people to change in a, in, in a way where you, your ego absolutely cannot stand the fact that something is going on and it's, it's causing uh, suffering to others, but it's actually causing you suffering as well. And if you're addicted to that, and as much as the mind will not let go until it's finally got that outcome, you're going to be on a long, long journey and you're never going to get there. There's never going to be a destination of finally in an in a enlightened place when the external thing that you were searching for has finally manifested and you will not be. And that's not for me to, to tell you, it, it's more from spiritual teachings and awareness of my own uh, life, that of clients, that of anybody who I've uh, studied. But we all have to go on that uh, journey. And paradoxically, like Alan Watts has said, there is no journey, I believe. It's, there's not a journey in as much as, you know, I want this because when I get that, then I can be. You'll never be if, if wanting is the, is the way that you're going. There'll be, there'll be just more wanting. Because even when it gets it, it then finds something else that it wants. Because it's not appeased yet. Finally, it will be appeased at some time. Oh yes, it will be. Oh yes, it will be. That's the only way. You know, ego. Everything good is outside, so I need to find what's lacking in myself and find it outside and when I've got that whatever it is whatever it is even if it is good if you're looking at it and thinking well the action that I'm taking is good 
you know, it's going to help people, it's going to make a better world rather than, you know, other people, for example, who are looking for fame outside of themselves and thus uh, acceptance and uh, love and uh, approval. Um, those people will always be on a journey, <sighs> always heading west but hoping to find the sunrise and um, it's a big struggle because it doesn't exist there. So spiritual practice is about surrendering to the moment, what is, just what is, the isness of it. This was the last day of my life. Would I really come out all by myself, regardless of making a video? This is not to make me look good or do anything other than it's an act of love. It's an, I, I love making them. I probably would not do this, but if it was the last month of my life, I would. This is something that is blissful. I love doing this. And I love connecting to people all over the planet. This is, somebody might just have a little awakening by something that I've said and it will just make a little um, shift in their consciousness. And you don't know the ripples of that, which are amazing and massively impactive, you know. So I'm gonna swap arms again. Spiritual practice finding being just finding being and if you be wherever without having to do anything then that is it <laughs>